The next script, JS25, is a derivative of the last script that we looked at. And I'll load this also into both Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator. I'm going to load it into Navigator first, and it says you have Netscape, which we've seen before. And then there's a button that says go to your homeland. If you click on the button, it takes you to Netscape. If we take that same script and put it into Microsoft Internet Explorer, it says you have Microsoft Internet Explorer, and you get the same button. You click on that button, and instead of going to Netscape, you go to Microsoft's website. So let's look at that script and see how we can accomplish this. And again, it's not particularly complicated, but there are a few things which you will want to do. First off, I should mention that we have two different scripts going on. The first script is that big if script that we looked at in JS24. And I've made no changes in here except to define a variable equal to a particular string. And that string, of course, is the URL of Microsoft. And I've tucked that nicely underneath the document right line here. And I've also got the where to go, a variable, which I've assigned to the URL for Netscape in the Netscape section. In addition to that, I have declared the where to go variable above that if statement. So the only difference between the last script and this script are these lines, where to go equals, where to go equals, and then the there, where to go right up here, declaring that variable in existence. By the way, declaring a variable outside of a function makes that variable what is known as a global variable, which means it's accessible to other Java scripts on the same page. Then I also created a function, which is very, very simple. And that function is called Go Homeland, which I call from the buttons down here, as you can see. And the JavaScript that I use here is location. Now, location basically redirects the browser. And where to go, as you will recall, is the string that represents the URL of where we want the browser to go. So the simple line location equals string redirects the browser to that particular URL contained within the double quotes. That's all there is. So in the, uh, I create a small form in which I put a button, label it go to your homeland, and then assign the attribute on click equals go homeland, left parentheses, right parentheses, again calling a function, which I defined up here between my head tags in my HTML. And that's really all it took to redirect the browser to two different possible locations based on what browser it was. OK, very good. And uh, next sections, we're going to start working with rollovers.